All righty. Can we, uh, let's get started again. There's too much collaborating going on out in the hallways. You, I know we called it the Collaboration Summit, but there's also some talks here. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody back. How, um, how many people here have heard of a little company called Samsung? Everyone? I think everyone has heard of it. You'll hear, you'll, that you'll, how many of these do you guys sell every day? It's an insane amount. But uh, clearly, Samsung has had an amazing impact in, in the last few years on literally everything. What, what doesn't Samsung make is the big question. You know, when I... I, uh, I, I recently bought a, a washer and dryer, uh, a Samsung washer dryer, and uh, I put in a load of laundry and kind of walked away, forgot about it, and I start hearing this, my phone ringing. And I'm like, what? I'm, I've got my phone in my hand, I'm hearing it ring, yet no one's calling me. Turns out when your laundry's done on a Samsung washing machine, exact same ringtone, so they're just... <laughs> Samsung is, is everywhere. Uh, but just like Samsung has had a big impact on Linux and open source, I think you know, open source has also had a big impact on Samsung as well. And we're really lucky to have a great speaker here this morning uh, who is the VP of Samsung's software platform team at their R&D center. And he's here to uh, discuss the really transformative effect that open source has had within Samsung. So I'd like to welcome Dr. Song Bum Su. Come on up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Sang Bum Su, VP at Samsung Software Center. I'm very happy and excited to be here to give you a talk about uh, open source uh, to Samsung Electronics. And first of all, I'd like to thank Linux Foundation to give me this kind of great opportunity to talk about our open source activities in Samsung. And in my talk, first of all, I'd like to slightly touch Samsung Electronics business areas. And uh, majority of my talk will be given to uh, discuss about uh, importance of open source activities and in Samsung Electronics to become uh, significant contributors to open source community projects. <coughs> Samsung Electronics was established in 1969 and we have got many different uh, products we have nine different divisions to produce and design from smartphone, DTB, and semiconductor solid state devices. When it comes to open source software activities in Samsung Electronics, uh, in 10 years, I remember that uh, it started in software center at the time. We just only touched embedded Linux systems to just taste what is open source software for CE products. At that time, we were just utilizing uh, embedded Linux from uh, a venture company, Montavista, and then we uh, apply some open source projects and components, a couple of set devices, prototypes, for example, PDA or any home appliances. And then, in 2005, uh, Linux kernel was applied to mass production of flat panel TV. It was a great opportunity for Samsung to uh, jump to number one company in TV industry, I think. We changed real-time operating system development environment to general purpose Linux-based uh, development environment. And we increased our, increased our productivity a lot. However, we faced a couple of challenges. One is that relatively long booting time compared with uh, that of real-time operating environment. So we, have got, we had got to reduce uh, 
Linux kernel booting time up to six seconds. I remember that. And now, uh, last month, we released in the market Linux kernel based NX300 digital camera. It is kind of DSLR grade uh, digital camera. However, we reduced further. Now, the cold booting time less than three seconds uh, with the help of some snapshot. Uh, booting technology. And another one is that uh, we have got many different DTV lineups and models. When it combines with, for example, different I.O. devices, we have got to manage a lot of I.O. device drivers as well. So we have to decide, manage main line of Linux kernel for our product to reduce managing cost. On top of this kind of successful deployment based upon open source Linux kernel to the TV industry, we started application of open source component to more products, uh, such as smartphone and camcorder and <coughs> camera. And you may see that uh, our last year's uh, number of uh, sales uh, units sold in the market for our Galaxy Android smartphone, more than um, 200 million units last year, and 57 million units of DTV. So all of the products based upon Linux. And a lot of software components, majority of them, are comprised of open source components. So I think that, I believe that, open source components and open source community projects uh, made contribution, contributions to Samsung's business success very much. And the next one is that we started thinking about contributions more proactively. So we created open source community projects. In 2008, we released Zen Hypervise, Hypervisor uh, software port on ARM CPU and also next one could be OpenCL for ARM CPU based uh, community projects. And last year, we released Tizen software platform source code, including SDK. Besides, we also use open source, many open source components for our cloud infrastructure projects and uh, commercial service platform. When it comes to substantial contributions, example, Samsung Electronics now become in 2012 uh, one of the top 10 companies sponsoring Linux kernel development. Uh, though it looks like still infancy period in terms of number of patches, however, we try to do our best to become uh, more leaderships and more as a leading company to develop more number of patches and make contributions more. And the next one is that Tizen. We released Tizen 1.0 software platform last year, early last year. And this year, in February, we also released 2.0. Tizen software platform has got two major components and interface for third-party app developers. One major interface is that HTML5-based web API interface. That is more uh, friendlier for operators and set vendors, I believe. And in addition, we also are providing some native API interface that can be compatible with our uh, old uh, native apps developers and environment. And the last example is that in 2011, uh, in Asian Zen Summit, uh, it is reported that Samsung's contributions to Zen hypervisor, particularly for ARM CPU port, uh, reaches 15% in terms of number of line of codes. So we believe that this kind of activities shows that Samsung has tried to become leaders in contributing 
open source community projects. And we uh, have got uh, many open source component projects so far, particularly 53 open source community projects listed in this slide. For example, Linux kernel and Enlightenment Fine Foundation Library EFL and the Zen like open source community project and WebKit. So we have increased and brought up engineers more and we would like to hire maintainers and support committers. And in addition, we substantially try to make contributions to open source communities by submitting patches. We also run open source labs. In the past, we just only working within teams to make contributions to open source patches to the communities. Now, we started opening open source labs worldwide, two in Europe and one in states, Silicon Valley area. And besides such kind of open source labs, we also are encouraging our engineers to work for open source community projects in any software platform project. So I, I think that I learned so fast to, uh, for this slide. I'm so nervous about uh, in front of this kind of big uh, audiences. And this is my first time in front of Linux kernel uh, communities, even though I have gave, given many talks and speeches to Zen community, but this is a very special moment for me to have this kind of opportunity. So please, uh, excuse me. And And we are, we are committed. We are committed to uh, growing pool of developers that should focus on open source community projects across uh, that will be used for our product. So if you are very much interested in our activities and if you want to uh, create our future based upon open source projects, then please visit our booth outside of this room after this talk. So that is my uh, speech.